dog or day. Ooh, it's scary. It's dark. It's because of this car. Y'all ever, y'all have new cars. The lights are extremely dim in them. And I couldn't even, I don't think you can turn them on any brighter. They're like little baby lights. They're not bright at all. But anyway, so Mom and I have been to Cary today. And we just left. It's about 9 o'clock. We ate supper with Coleman at a restaurant called Lucky 32. What'd you think? It was okay. I, I like the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. uh, the appetizers were good. Mama had smoked salmon for the first time with potato cakes and then we had fried green tomatoes which weren't that great. No, Amy's are much better. I don't, I'm not a big fan of fried green tomatoes. You got this. Salt is the key with those. You got to salt them really well before you ever coat them and that's where they messed up. And then my, I had short ribs. Sweet tea braised short ribs. And Mama had Oh yeah, and they were pretty good, I thought. They were good. I, I wanted to go with something safe. I'm Coleman, not as brave as they are. Coleman got chilled avocado soup. Now can you believe that? <laughs> that sounds like something I would order. But it wasn't that good. It needed a lot of salt and garlic. Garlic. And vinegar. <laughs> it needed a that, bunch of stuff. That's our staples. Yes. If it don't have salt garlic and vinegar in an egg wheel. But um, I went today and had some a treatment done in Cary. I got to go for six treatments at a stay dry clinic because when I run and sneeze I pee on myself thanks to large children mm. and just getting older. So I went and had that done today. So if anybody has seen that commercial on TV, Stay Dry Center, I don't, I can't say if I recommend it, but I did have a treatment and it didn't hurt, so that was a good thing. And I've got to have six, so I got five more to go. So we got five more trips to carry. Shopping trips, <laughs> two a week. So for two and a half weeks, we get to come up here and go shopping. Anyway, we went to what I thought was a fabulous store today, so I thought I'd get on here and tell y'all about it. It's called Painted Trees Boutique. Boutiques. Huh? Boutiques. Yeah, boutique, excuse me. And it was kind of, what would you say it was like? Black line? Sort of. Kind of, yeah. Uh, a lot of different people bring their stuff in to sell. So it had yep. a lot of clothes for skinny people. Yeah. So you young girls or you old older women that are skinny go there. They have a lot of cute stuff. That's where that top uh, that Amy had me hold up that I didn't want to do and she just had a fit. And I said, you do it. I, <laughs> Let me take a picture of you. You do it. But no, she refuses. Anyway. She did too, but she did it. We all know Amy. You can't <laughs> get away from her mess. But she did not. And, you know, some people were taking that pose serious. Oh, it was just a joke. Saying that, no, you don't need that top. <laughs> it's just all in fun. It was a thong in the back, I believe. Mama didn't even know it was a bodysuit. Until I told her somebody, Neil Grant and Lana Grant said, ouch, which I agree. One time, I'll tell this funny story. Lee and I had just started dating, and it was our first, first Christmas together, 1993. And lid tarts were the thing then. And Lee goes to this store at the mall in Charlotte. And get this, he buys me, me, clothes. Nobody can buy me clothes, can they? No, nobody. <laughs> and buys me three pair of jeans, three lid tarts, and three vests. And all the jeans were too short. That's before we started wearing cigarette ankle pants. And all the lid tarts, they were like a thong in the front and back on me because I was so long torso. <laughs> and 
And so I go to take them back and of course the store's out of business. So that was a cute story. So did I didn't you sell them? I'm sure you did. No, because, well I probably did at the flea market. I probably made about $10 off of those three outfits. You remember my flea market days? Oh yes, I hated them. <laughs> Wake up at five o'clock in the morning, go down to the flea market in Rockingham. And I'm telling you. two dollars <laughs> and bring, got all that stuff to bring back home. <laughs> I could still be in the car, just have pulled up and people would be in the back with flashlights searching through what we had. But I'm glad I don't have to go to flea markets no more. <laughs> oh, me too. I could stand a flea market or a yard sale. And then we started having yard sales when we moved out to Ellerby started having yard sales at the house and the kids just loved that they just thought that was the greatest experience of their lives oh yeah they want to get out there and work and sell the stuff <laughs> and away whatever and they wanted to stay out there all day jack would stay out there all day and he he tried to sell everything in his room <laughs> oh lord so we ate lunch at wedges but anyway, and I have a niblet, Mama likes their BLT. But getting back to the Painted Trees Boutique, it's kind of like, um, think of Walmart. That's the size of it. And all these different boutiques, and nobody works them. You just pay for everything at the um, at one counter. Oh, it takes you a long time. We yes. went twice. <laughs> First time we went, we didn't have time to go through the whole thing so she, because she had a doctor's appointment. And then we came, after the appointment, we came back and stayed in there until it was time to go eat um, meat cold. So, did you buy anything? Yes, I bought a top. And I bought a Christmas gift. Yes. So, we can't say who it was for because it's from, for somebody in the family. And then I bought a sign that's probably going to cause me and Lee to get a divorce. It's probably six feet tall. And it's going to have to go in the dining room. And he's going to have to move all my pictures, which I have a big wall with nothing but pictures of the kids on. And he's going to have to move them. And get ready, be Lee. happy. <laughs> get yourself now. And it's nine o'clock at night and I have got the hardest task in the world to do when I get home. We're just now coming into Southern Pines. Clean out this car. Because my car is getting cleaned tomorrow. I would call up and tell them wait till the next day. <laughs> well, I really don't care if it's cleaned, so but Lee's the one that arranged it. I guess he's wanting me to have a cleaner car now than it's a newer car. I don't know. Where are you going to put all that stuff? On the futon. <laughs> that poor old futon. I have a futon on my front porch. That's the community futon. If nothing is piled up on that futon, it's on my kitchen table or my desk or on top of the refrigerator. But I come home various days of the week and there's stuff on my futon that people just randomly come by and drop off. I found a glass jar Who on my that? futon, an empty one. I don't know. Somebody that Judy made jam for, I think. I think it's one of Judy's jars. So I guess they want me to give it back to Judy. And then um, just random things appear on it. Magazines, oh. tabs that I take to Ronald McDonald House. Clothes. Yes. Who's bringing new clothes? Different people drop off things. What? I don't know. I mean, you ain't gonna wear nothing. <laughs> Somebody brought to you. And one day, don't you remember when that huge pan appeared on oh, my yeah. porch, on my futon? What was that? Um, somebody heard that I was opening a bakery. <laughs> <laughs> They decided to bring me that pan. Lord have mercy. And I'm serious, I could feed Ellerby a pan of brownies out of it. It was tremendous. But I'm not opening up a bakery. They, I don't even like 
like sweets. So, y'all got anything you want to drop off on my porch? Go ahead. She'll, yep. take, she'll take it somewhere. Yeah, I never throw anything away, so I'll find somebody to give it to. My porch is kind of like Christian Closet of Bellarby, I think. I know um, we were going to have a yard sale on a Saturday morning. <laughs> and this woman came by on Friday afternoon. No, we hadn't had it. No, I no, it no, was. no, no, no. Uh -oh. We hadn't had it yet. And she came by, and I was staying with Jack, and knocked on the door, and she said, can I buy this? <laughs> and I said, no. <laughs> I said, why, why you want to buy that? She said, um, y'all said y'all were having a yard sale. I said, that's tomorrow. I said, this is Amy's uh, poor stuff. <laughs> oh, Lord. So, you got anything else to add? You got to make it quick so Gary Smith won't talk about us. You know, I did find me some mascara, y'all. My kind. So, I'm happy with that. And multiple people have asked why Ava and I haven't restarted our mascara diaries. Well, first of all, she's 16. And she's gone some. And we've been extremely busy at Berry Patch. The people wanting them old Dixie Lee peas. And that's a, sugar that's baby. a show. <laughs> that's a show in itself. And then sugar baby watermelons. Y'all y'all just wouldn't believe the questions I have gotten about those watermelons. Not from anybody local. This has gone as far as Texas. Yeah, they want me to ship them to Texas, a watermelon. Now, ain't that crazy? Then somebody called the Berry Patch and wanted to know if our watermelons were available at some grocery store in Charleston. And, I mean, what was that other one, that message we got about the watermelon last night? I sent it to you. I can't remember. said something about they got in trouble for having a watermelon oh, on yeah. their porch. In Charleston wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And uh, they lived in a community with the uh, H. H-O-A. Yeah. And they told them they could, that, that was uh, racist or something. No, I don't know what it was, but <laughs> I was They like, couldn't have a watermelon on the porch. That is absolutely crazy. So, we had just gotten so many crazy calls and messages about those watermelons. And now it's the peak, Dixie Lee Peas, which, I mean, they're great, but we do have a wait list for them. And somebody said last night they wanted some. I said, well, there's a wait list. She said, there's a wait list for Dixie Lee Peas? I said, yeah, they're like a Birkin bag. You got to be on the special list to get them. So somebody could make some money if they just grew Dixie Lee Peas and sold them. Four season and, and then wouldn't have to work the rest of the year. Yep, they're like, um, I mean, they just fly. You can have all other varieties and those Dixie Lees, they'll be gone in minutes. So, is that all we got to talk about? Yeah. All right. We'll see y'all next time.